Hi friends, I have been growing many varieties of plants in Aero Garden Harvest Models for many years. I own every harvest model. I have Harvest, Harvest 360, Harvest Slim, as well as an Elite version for each of these three models. I recently got Harvest Excel as well, but that is out of scope for this video because Harvest Excel is pretty big and not really comparable to the other Harvest models. Harvest is a compact system, but it is very powerful. We can grow so many varieties in this compact system. I am just listing out everything I have grown in Harvest model so far. Starting with flowers, I have grown marigold, snapdragons, danthus, lavender, calendulas, zinnia and petunias. All these flowers went really well in Harvest model. Petunias are the best of all flowers. I have petunias in just one pod and it took over the entire garden. It often goes above the lights but we can prune and manage well in harvest. Worst case, we can start over with cuttings which works excellent in harvest. For me, this plant survived for 14 months. So harvest model is good enough to grow many flower varieties. Then herbs. I have grown parsley, dill, thyme, cilantro, culantro, green onions, fenugreek, stevia, mint and many varieties of basil. Many of these herbs stayed just under one feet. Some herbs like dill, green onions and stevia keep touching the lights but we can easily manage by pruning or harvesting as needed. So harvest model is good enough to grow so many herbs. Then the leafy green vegetables like bok choy, red amaranth, green amaranth, kale, purslane, spinach, malabar spinach, watercress, mustard greens, carrot greens, sorrel, dandelions and many varieties of lettuce. All these went very well and most of them stayed below the lights. Very few of these plants like amaranth grow tall but I harvest the greens and trim the plants as soon as they are ready and I never give the plants any chance to go above the lights. So harvest model is good enough to grow so many leafy green vegetables. Then I have grown many varieties of cherry tomatoes like Aero Garden Red Heirloom, Tiny Team, Red Robin, Yellow Micro Dwarf, Venus Micro Dwarf and Orange Hat. All these are dwarf category and stayed under one feet. They have grown tall over the period after 6 to 8 months but they mostly spread on the sides and stayed under the lights. I have also managed a variety called 42 day tomato in harvest. This variety grows up to 2 feet but I still managed in harvest. So harvest model is good enough to grow so many varieties of tomatoes including some medium sized tomatoes. I have also grown few varieties of radishes like French breakfast and saxa and both varieties did really well and produced tasty and flavorful radishes. I have also grown many other crops like Hungarian sweet peppers, cucamelon, snap pea, fairy tale eggplants and ground cherries. All these plants did excellent in harvest and I got very good yield from all these varieties. I have grown strawberries as well. I started with seeds and harvested my first strawberry on day 120. Overall, the harvest model looks small but it is very powerful. We can do many wonders with this system. One important note is we have to limit the number of plants depending on the variety. For example, we can grow a maximum of two plants if we are growing tomatoes. Same thing with eggplants or ground cherries. We should limit to only one plant if we are growing cucumelon or cucumbers. We can try growing more plants but we don't get the same yield. More plants will also get overcrowded and plants may run into other problems like diseases or bug infestation. So if you are planning to get started with Aero Garden and wondering what system to buy or start with, 
I recommend the harvest model. You get to experience and learn a lot from this model and slowly expand to other models. I have a separate video about the differences between Harvest, Harvest 360 and Harvest Slim and how each model works for different scenarios. I have the link in the description below. Please check it out if you are interested. That is all for now. Thanks for watching. Happy Aero Gardening.